Hi, this is a video explaining how to change and set code review enabled in Gitcentric. If you're a Gitcentric user, you know that Gitcentric has the capability for code review. And some repositories have code review enabled and some do not. The way a user pushes code for code reviews hasn't changed. And the way to review and approve requested code changes hasn't changed. But some, but the way to set or change code review enabled on a given repository has changed in this 2017.1 release. This video will show how to create a new repository with or without code review enabled. It will also show how to change the code review enabled setting on an existing repository. So let's start with a new repository. When Gitcentric 2017.1 is installed, or when it is, Gitcentric is upgraded to 2017.1, it creates two new permission-only repositories, Code Review and Direct Push. These permission-only repositories will not hold development source code, only access control list entries to control what users can push. Repositories with code review enabled should have code review as their parent repository. That is, they will inherit access control lists from code review. And repositories that do not have code review should have direct push as their parent. Let's create a new repository that has code review enabled. I'm going to call it My Repo One. And because it has code review enabled, it's going to inherit rights from code review. Now this is just an ordinary repository. Note that under the Access tab, Rights Inherit from Code Review. Now let's create another new repository without Code Review enabled. I'll call that My Repo 2, and it will inherit from Direct Push. And if we look here at the Access tab, notice that the right inherit, rights inherit from is direct push. Direct push here is exactly the same meaning as not code review. Once a repository has been created, there is no way to use the GUI to change its parent repository. You must use the Gitcentric command line. To use the command line, you need SSH access to the Gitcentric server, the same SSH access that any Git client would use for Git clone, Git push, and Git pull operations. To check that you have the correct SSH access, do the command line help command. and see that it comes back with help on all the available commands. We're going to use the set project parent command to change between code review and direct push. So first of all, let's change my repo one from code review, which it's currently parented under now, to direct push. And after we do that, and we go back to my repo one, we can see that it is parented with direct push. 
Now let's change the parenting on my repo too from direct push to code review. And again, if we go back into the code review and look at my repo too, we see that it is now parented with code review and people will be able to push code for code review from that repository. I wanted to add that you can create additional permission-only repositories that are children of code review or direct push and inherit from those. This is useful because it gives you one place to add additional access control lists to all code review or direct push repositories. Thank you.